Okay, it's okay. It started. That's good. Thank you for uh, collaborating with me. Sure. Sure. And a lot of people are going to be very happy because they've been asking. <laughs> I said, why don't you collaborate with Linda? I'm like, I don't know Linda. We'll have to get to know her first. <laughs> but you have a lot of fans, though. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's good. You know, I'm working my way there. Have you been watching the news? I mean, I'm sure you have. Yeah, why? No, the book that uh, McCabe came out with. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why do I feel, I mean, am I the only one? That book has shifted the energy from the, you know, people. Some, some, some of his uh, uh, people in his base. Why do I feel the, that energy is shifting a bit? Is it me or? No, it's, it's shifting. Now, listen. Yes. He, it's all about him. I don't know if you saw my video yesterday. It's all no, about him. Yeah. Because it's been a couple of crazy, a little crazy. Rosenstein is the one that will lie. Because there was a uh, a thing the other day, this uh, on PBS, this person was talking about telling James Comey, oh, are you glad to have uh, McCabe as your deputy? Uh, and he said, well, he's a survivor. He said, what do you mean by that? He said, he'll play both sides. Really? Comey said that? But I don't think, yeah, but. I don't think McCabe is lying. I think he, he oh. clearly is kind of blowing it for the uh, for the FBI. Like, he's saying uh, too much, you know. But listen, yes. I got a desperate message from yes. a Twitter fan. Okay. First, I went to um, get upset. Okay. She said, oh, my God, have you heard? Um, they're giving the, uh, um, they, I guess... Mueller has given the report to Barr, and yeah, they're yeah. just going to send out a summary, but they're not going to release it. And she said, I knew Barr was crooked. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't pick that up. And I asked her, because if that was true, every right, right. news station, including Fox, would be having it front line. Exactly. So I said to her, where did you get this information? Because Trump is tweeting too much to be right. like, it's cool, like whatever. So I said, something's wrong because I'm turning on every news station and nobody's saying the same thing. So no, I don't think it's true. No. no. Thank I, you. I, I'm not saying that. And also intuitively, well, there are some top secret intelligence stuff they are not going to release. But, you know, we've got, my, that's my intuition. My, that's what I feel. Regardless, if it's things uh, that are supposed to be released, we're going to know. But I don't feel it's crooked. And I will tell you why. Why? He is, first of all, his age. Number two, he has a very good reputation already. He goes by the law, so does Mueller. Right. That Well, exactly. That's why I said the reputation stuff. And at this point in his life, he, you know what, Linda, tell me if I'm wrong. Why do I feel he wants to do right by the country? Yes, people look at him, they may think he's going to be for Trump. I am not. I don't, are, are we delusional? I, I have the same feeling too. <laughs> I've had it, I've thought that he's being an ass because it, it, it works for him so he can get in there. Yes. Thank you. So I'm not the only one because that's what I keep picking up. Okay, she just wrote me and told me it's on CNN. Uh, I, okay, well, we will check that out. But I don't feel by crooked if that's what she's saying. And yes, they will release the report, but not in its entirety. They can't because some of the grand Jewish stuff they have to keep secret. Okay, mm. and some, and you know, because the intelligence. Some of it is very, very sensitive. How they go about collecting them. We don't want our enemies to know how we go up, how we go about collecting those informations. You know what I mean? So right. they're not going to release those things. I'm fine with that. All right. You know? But uh, the rest, I feel, they will release. 
because first of all, I don't feel the Congress wants uh, to keep the information from us. And given that the Democrats are in charge now, uh, regardless, that stuff is going to get out. That's my feeling. That's what I'm feeling too. Fantastic. So I'm glad we are on and sync. But you know, the other thing I wanted to ask you, Linda, and you know, if you're feeling the same way, my cape I feel right now is getting kicked around by certain some people. Okay, why do I feel he's going to be vindicated at some? Are you getting the same thing? I feel he's going to be. Vind I mean, well, he's going to go down in history. Uh, I don't know if he was too much of. Uh, is the right word, but and the good side of history. Yeah, yeah. Even though he was kind of a, there's a, a YouTube video. I'll send you the link Please. of a, a fellow FBI agent who was a really good worker, and uh, he bent over backwards to ruin her career. So I don't like that kind of stuff. Okay, that so one I agree he with. Liked, you. He liked being in charge, my friend. Oh but yeah. But he also he also hated Trump. No, he, he, none of those people like that because of what they were aware of. Because they, I mean, these guys, of course, he's, wait a minute, he was second in charge of the FBI. He has a huge ego. Yes. <laughs> you don't reach those positions. But he does, it's interesting. He's doing all this so he can come off like, you know, I did everything I could. Right. And, uh, yeah. Yes, you're right, uh, but I, you know, I try to put those aside. But you are correct. He has a huge ego. He knows, and he's very bright. He knows what he's shooting for. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, I feel like saying, I mean, like I'm glad you you are feeling the same way. Yeah. But, uh, he's going to come out on the right side of history. And also, did you hear that Lindsey Graham said that he was going to call him and others? I don't know how many other people he's going to call from the FBI because he wants them to testify in front of his committee and the Senate. Did you hear about that yet? Yeah. I think this is going to be a carnival. <laughs> so I'm saying it's going to be a carnival because... This is going to be so. I can't wait because I love to watch uh, when people testify in front in front of uh, either the Senate or Congress like that because it can work against you. Yes. And I, and I feel Lindsey Graham is is on a power trip right now. Oh, did you hear what he got into a major argument with uh, the guy from the Defense Department? Well, he is about Syria. I'm sorry. About Syria pulling troops out of Syria. Right. Exactly. So, from what I heard this morning, they got into a major argument. I feel like saying, uh, uh Graham is gonna he's on a power trip. It feels like too, and then he goes up as well, and it's gonna backfire. It may not happen right away. No. You know. But am I am I wrong? Am I because no, no. Lindsey Graham is in a lot of trouble. Lindsey Graham took a payout. Yes. <laughs> a lot okay. of them did. It's not just Trump that's in trouble. Exactly. Okay. So I am not the only one who's feeling that way. Right. Right. But you know, I live in my little <laughs> bubble, you know, and you're seeing those things. And sometimes it's good to talk to others. Yeah, and the thing is, is that we just keep waiting for justice because it just seems like they're getting away with so exactly. much. Yes. But I trust my dreams, and I had that dream that Trump was dead, which means he's no longer in office. And I also dreamt... You, Did? Oh, yeah, you can hear me. Um, and I also dreamt that I was in the White House with him, and he was in a bad mood. And I turned to a woman, I said... Why is he such a in a bad mood? She said, "Oh, did you didn't you hear? Mueller's indictments are coming." I said, I said, "Yeah, so everybody knew that." She goes, "No, it's worse than what we thought." Oh yeah, exactly. You 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 How exactly. Did you work this long to hand over a slip of paper to Barr to be stepped on? I just don't see it. 
No. And do you feel that Barr's getting rid of Mueller or Mueller told Barr, next week I'll have an outline for you? Do you think that's what it is? I feel uh, Mueller is going to be ready. There, there, there is more work to do, though. I don't feel it's going to be I do, too. Work. And I also see Mueller talking to Congress. I see him being subpoenaed. You're right. Exactly. Yes. And also, I feel that um, I just see Trump losing his mind. I, I don't know what this is. I see Trump losing his mind, going I, crazy. I feel you are correct because I've, I've mentioned it a couple of times, you know, that he's going out of his mind. But you know what I think, Linda? What? It's get worse when they indict Junior. Yeah. That's when he's really going to freak out on us. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and right now, the, the other feeling I'm getting is uh, it seems like to me he knows because he has tested all the boundaries for him to get himself out of the situation that he is in. Right. And he has exhausted everything. And he knows that it's not working. I am getting a sense of panic now. Me too. Me too. I may be picking it up a little too early, you know, but since yesterday or the day before yesterday, I am getting a sense of someone, you know, when you are uh, in an enclosed, something you enclosed in it, and you're yeah. just trying everything to try to get out, and you can't. Right. And then you start to panic. That's the impression I am getting when I, uh, the past couple of days, when I touch with Trump. But you are correct. Uh, and also, his family is beginning to panic as well. Linda, yeah. we can talk here all day. I know you're busy. Let me know when you want to go because I don't. Okay, well, listen, I got to tell you something really quick. Yes. Yes. I just went on Twitter just to see if there was any. And so Brian Steller okay. is saying, breaking now on CNN, okay. AG Bill Barr is preparing to announce as early as next week okay. the completion of Robert Mueller's Russia investigation right. with plans for Barr to submit to Congress soon after a summary of Mueller's confidential report, according to p people familiar. Okay. Well, the summary, uh, well, let me, let me tell you how I see this. At least okay. let me know how you feel, okay? Should we what? go on? Should we talk about this amongst our fans? Absolutely. Hey, no. turn it on, turn it on. Let's, let's get into this. Oh, okay. You want me to, you, you want to, uh, let's hang on a second. Let me see if I can do oh, this. Oh, wait, you're already recording, so you can cut and paste this, right? I am recording, yes. Oh, okay. So we can, I, you can put this on. Yeah, but I'm, I want you to have a copy and you can release it to people because not all your fans will see my copy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, okay. I'll put it on mine. Okay. In any event, you know what I feel about the summary thing? What? It, it, because it's going to take, take bar time. And you know what? Somebody mentioned that in the news. And it, it, you know, it, it felt good when I heard the person uh, said it. It resonated with me. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. The summary, yes, they're going to send it to Congress, but they're going to delete or remove the sensitive information that the public, that is not fit. Right. And then. Although, although you know, that information is going to come out. Oh, I, that is, information is going to come out. Linda, there is nothing. I, no, I don't think will be gonna left get... unturned. By the time Trump is gone, they're going to remove anything. He, they, and apparently there is a law and, or a constitutional thing that if a president was so bad, you can remove him off, you know, he was no longer 45. You Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, they can remove any, like he won't get no library. Well, he didn't read anyway. <laughs> oh, my. Little mushrooms. Oh my! <laughs> yes. What can I... I... Let me look real quick. Let me see okay. what what happened. Yeah. You know, when she wrote me, I was like, "What?" And I didn't feel Mueller definitely cowing down, or but I feel they have a mutual respect, but they're by the law, and yeah. I feel Mueller 
actually feeling more comfortable talking to Barr than he did. What, what, I think because Barr's in there, now Mueller can close it up. Exactly. He didn't like that other Ponzi. Oh, of course not, because the other guy was uh, Trump's Patsy. Yeah, he, he, he just knew that that guy, he couldn't trust him. Exactly. Mr. Exercise <laughs> Toilet. Uh, right. Whitaker's in trouble, though. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm looking so okay. forward to it. All right. <laughs> yes. What's going on with Barr? Tell me what I can tell. Let me look real quick. Barr, no, no, I, I see him I'm talking. Right. In fact, the two of them are talking. Okay. And I almost feel, this is the feeling I get, because I see Barr sitting in this chair. He almost sits back, you know. And I see him, like, getting kind of sick. Like I see Mueller saying, dude, check it out. Yeah. This, this, this. And Barr probably had a suspicion, but it's even worse than what he thought. You know why? Worse worse than than what? Worse than Yeah. That's good. And, and I read for a lot of people, a lot of famous people and people that are connected to Intel. They're not actually, and some will be related to people in Intel. Right, and they right. have said to me, even last year, they said, listen, everybody that's anybody, first of all, won't give him permission to hold a nuke. Never. Secondly, they always have known he's a clear and present danger because they've known he's been in Russia's pockets forever. Right, and right. that he could step over this country for the sake of Putin any day. You know? Yeah, no, the fortune will change. We're all like standing here. There's no drama and we're ho it's horrible. It's um, the judgment will be made. It's crossed with the ten of cups. Okay, Information okay. is coming, my friend. That's and good. And more, more uh, legal stuff like policing or arresting. Yes. yes. Okay. Don't break my heart. And I, I you know who's standing I, I, in the forefront? I, 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 <laughs> Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. She's standing in the forefront. Oh my! She's standing God. in the forefront. Yes. yes. Now you listen. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. Nancy is what that's that. In my opinion, intuitively, that's who I feel is has been standing guard since the Republican since the Democrats took over. Right. Okay. Can you imagine if Congress did not change hands? Oh God. Where we would be? Exactly. Yes, we would. We it would be over, and it would Mueller would be gone, and it would be. You know, can I tell you something now? Absolutely. Honest to God, this yeah. Donald J. Trump is a whack job, and he, honest to God, thought he was going to go out there and lie to the American public and tell them, "Oh, don't go with Democrats because they'll they'll uh, they'll work, they'll take away your health care, and um, I plan on giving the middle class another tax break." No, notice how there's nothing talked. And right. tons of people are coming over the border, right, as we speak. And he lied, lied, lied. And let me tell you something. Because of this tax thing, this is working on our side. Okay. People are actually seeing that they're not getting the break. Exactly. Well, that's another thing. A lot of his followers are not very happy with that, that tax situation. Well, all the 800,000 federal workers, not only did he say, no. Bob Humbug, you can't have a... a your 2% raise. Can you right. believe that? But also he's saying, oh, I'll just shut you guys down and leave you struggle for a month. They didn't forget. Not only that, did you hear how much money he spent on his golf course simulator? Oh, yeah. Over $50,000. And every time yeah. he takes a trip to Florida. Oh, it costs oh, us an arm and a leg. A lot of money. And then he's putting these poor people, these poor workers through this craziness. Yeah. You know, but you're right. You know something else, Linda, I have to share with you, but this I was getting before I joined YouTube. And right. fact, it's on my uh, Twitter feed. You know, please let me know because I have not, well, I have not spoken to another psychic about this, except my mom, but my mom now is 92, so she doesn't really care anymore. <laughs> <In any event. laughs> I felt after Trump got elected, he wanted to bring Russian guards into the White House. Do you wow. know why I was getting that? Wow. Well, he wanted a back line with Russia. Yes, but you know, and I, I have been wondering, it's on my Twitter feed, I, I've said it, 
And the thing is, I am wondering it's be if it's because, you remember when he first got elected, he had those two, the, amb the Russian ambassador and the uh, UN. I am wondering if it's those people I was getting. And you know and what? He talked you trash about Comey. Oh my God. Yes, exactly. But you know the other thing? Remember when he first got elected, he went with his own security? Remember? Or oh, that, that gentleman, that, that tall guy? Yeah. Okay. It is because that's intuitively, that's what I feel. He did not trust our uh, uh, the Secret Service. So he wanted his own person there before he could reach that level of trust and also figure out how much they know about what he has done. Oh. Uh, am I making sense or is, am I not? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. That Saudi Arabia thing too, you know, uh, they, what's his face yeah. keeps going over there to Saudi Arabia. To, they they bail him out of that terrible real estate and they are going to give them Koshner. Yes. Oh, God. And you know what? I don't think he's, it's done yet. Did you hear about the nuclear uh, technology transfer they wanted to do? And uh, that general, that Flynn. Flynn was part of it. And they said not only Flynn, but Koshner was supposed to cash in on that as well. Yeah. Can it's still you, going on. They're trying to hustle it through. I hope. You know Isn't what? that interesting that Flynn won't get off clean free? He's he's going to get something's going to happen with treason with him. I, I, let me I, tell you out something else. They all because they're Russian uh, people were the ones that told Manafort, Flynn, and Cohen, "Don't worry, the president." Well, the Russians did. Nobody yeah. else will get you out. But no, but he's not going to be able to get anybody out. I don't think so. I'm glad yes, you said, said he'd do that, but you know he can't because then they can't plead the fifth and they no, can no. spill even more beans. Okay. okay. So I'm, not, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who's picking those things up because I've been struggling with them and try to understand, you know what I mean? Why am I getting these things? Right. So, and you know the other thing I feel like sharing with you, please let me know if you got that as well. What? Right. They're going to lose Mar-a-Lago. They will oh, lose. Yes. Oh, oh, my friend, I saw them having to sell everything. Right. Everything. Exactly. So it's not me. And I see her leaving him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's done. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> She's going to grab what she can when she can. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. She has been unhappy for a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's simply not saying he pays her or he's got some agreement with her. Oh, yeah. Just fake it like you're happy. You the days well, Linda, now she's first lady. She's not gonna walk away from that gig. No, no. She you doesn't know, do nothing. Right. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to bad mouth her, but she in order for you to do to be able to do something, you gotta I'm not saying she's not smart. It's probably because of the way the relationship between her and Trump has evolved. Yeah. And she's more like, since he is such a bully, yes. and a control freak, so she is like she has taken her place. You know what I mean? Right. And, and she's been with him for over 10 years. The, the, it's like someone is walking on eggshells, you know? Because and, he lied to her. He, he oh, smoothed yeah. her. He made her think she was the best thing since sliced bread. And then slowly but surely, he humiliated her. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. She lost confidence in herself. Even if she, right now, if she wanted to do something, she's not sure how to go about doing it. Right. Because, he, first of all, he's going to, he is so insecure. He's yeah. going to feel that she's competing with him. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But listen. Yes. She was in New York and he came to Washington. I'm telling you, exactly. she initially didn't have any intention of coming to Washington. You know what? I didn't think about that, but I think you're right. That she, makes sense. Somehow they came to some agreement. Somebody, some people talked to her and told her how wonderful it'll be being first lady. But she really initially, 
Because she got herself a man over there in New York. <laughs> she got herself a little something, something. I would, do you remember? I think one of the ladies that uh, I mean, not that she would. I, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't have to bring anybody there because he was always traveling anyway. But they have separate bedrooms. Uh, oh yeah. Remember that? Yeah. So that says a lot. Would you want to sleep with that orange crush face? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God. And, you know, he doesn't really sleep. Well, you know, I, I never thought about it, but I feel you're right. Or at least uh, his sleeping patterns, you know, are not normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yes, you, you are correct. Yeah. But, I, you know, I think you're right. About have some, you know, she has a little something, something. But we're gonna find out, though. And I'll tell you, you know, he, I yes. hate to say it, as terrible as he is, he's going to forever change the face of the United States. This will never happen again. Oh no, that is for sure. And you know what? I, in fact, I mentioned I didn't mention that because I have uh, difficulties accepting even intuitively, the damage, the damage he has caused the country. Yeah. But you are right in a sense that I feel going forward, if someone think you are going to be able to pull the same thing, it's not going to work. No. Because the FBI, and you know something, everything, you know, Linda, Everything fell into place for Trump. Yeah. Anyone else but McConnell, if it was any senator, you know, majority leader, there is no, because if you recall, it wasn't the news, they said Obama tried to warn McConnell about Trump. Remember that? Yes. But McConnell did not want, told, told Obama she, he, would, he would not support, you know, anything that he says. Yeah. But if I were Obama, I would still go out with it. But the point I was trying to make was everything fell into place so Trump could be unfortunately where he is. But you're right. And it's in a way he has it has changed the country. And anyone else who think they're gonna be able to pull the same thing, it's not gonna happen. But it's you know not gonna happen. I, uh I, it, the thing is one thing I I'm having difficulties uh understanding yeah is how is it that the republican party didn't know tr the situation between trump and putin they did now yes i am trying to figure this out but i don't want to go into never never land why they allow trump to be president Oh, well, they didn't want, remember, they all said they didn't like at him. First, at first. And then what happened is Russia came in with their little inside information and some checks okay. and set everybody up to where they're, but O'Connell feels like he's, he just getting what he wants, so he's using Trump. Right. But he'll wash his hands of him, too. Oh, but yeah. At the yeah, right yeah. time, absolutely, definitely, he will. But what oh, happened to Lindsey Graham? Let, you know what? A lot of people are wondering what happened to Lindsey Graham. You know what, Linda? I never trusted Lindsey Graham. Okay. And I will tell you why. I remember, my, in fact, you know what? I, I One day, if I find those cards I used to see from the White House, I will post them on one of my videos. I have to go to my storage thing because I had to leave my house about... Mm, Ten years ago, I went through a Saturday return that kicked me around. <laughs> in any event, yeah, oh my God, really bad. In any event, I put a lot of stuff in storage. I would look for them. I used to do my mom. I used to get on my mom's case almost every day to read for Bill. They didn't know I was doing it. And I would send them messages. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they used to send me cards every once in a while. They would send me a card with the White, White House and Signa. Thank you. Some thank you card, I don't remember, but I'm going to look for them. I will post them in my one of my videos if I find them. In any event, Lindsay, I remember when they impeached 
uh, Clinton. Yeah. He was one of the point people. Remember? In fact, they've shown video of him. Uh, I don't remember the exact statement he made, but he was, I believe, the chief. If it, I think, I believe he was one of the prosecutors in the house during that time because I remember him talking. And since then, oh, I, he was all holy roller. He needs to go. It, I, I, I don't. I never trusted him. Even like when he became friend with McCain. And he was trying to be a good guy. So I am one of the few people who wasn't disappointed because, I mean, I think, Clint, I mean, that, you know, he, nobody's perfect. Right. But what happened is unfortunate. But the way they went about it. And can you imagine? For He was wrong. He's a big, you know, he's a president of the United States. He took advantage of a young girl. Look, the whatever they want, however they want to put it. My situation is... They impeached Clinton because he lied. He said, no, uh, no such thing happened. He didn't have anything to do with that woman. Yeah. And for me, it's a cultural thing. If you deny those things, that's what you were supposed to do. Yeah. You, know, if you, cut, you deny, I mean, any, any relationship with a woman. Yeah. So, but it bothered me. And the way they went about impeaching him. And now we have somebody in the White House who co co uh, collaborated with one of our worst enemy. They yep. knew before he got in, and yep. they are still tolerating them simply because they want to install judges. Yeah. Tax breaks to their uh, rich donors. Yeah. That stuff really... He paid women off on yes. his table. He, uh, he's also in Saudi Arabia's hands. He allowed a... A yes. Washington Post uh, guy to be murdered. Exactly. That's, oh, that's... I, I believe what they what the prince says. I believe him. I believe what Putin says. Well, that's that's the one that really He's makes me not even crazy. standing in his own house. That's that's the line that really got to me. Yeah. And he says that you know he he doesn't care about what our intelligence people said. Yeah, because they're all it, you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mueller is a Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> that was the other crazy thing he keeps bringing up. And, you know, he, you know, he doesn't believe it. He's saying those things. Yeah. Because of his uh, followers. Yeah. Okay. He does not want to lose those people. But you know what? I, I, I feel his base is going to shrink uh even more yeah you know because i saw him losing everything i saw his family losing anything okay. related to trump is shit that's what i saw no i agree with you i agree with you when i first saw that i was wondering if i was nuts right you know because Mahalago to them it's a big deal yeah, but a lot of people are going to want to come out of... Nobody's going to want to be associated with them. Well, That's not. going to be the big deal. Yes. People won't want to have... They're going to say, listen, you're a liar and a crook, and you were in Trump's and uh, Russia's hands. We're done with you. Exactly. You're not, it, we're going to lose business if we have anything to do with you. That's one thing. You know, the other thing, uh, the amount of money they're going to be spending... In legal fees. Yes. Okay. So you agree with that? Yes. All but, right. But listen, yes. I did not pick up Roger Stone going to jail. I wish I did. I don't know why I'm seeing him behind bars. Well, she oh. may give him a chance and then he blows it again and goes to jail. In this time. Oh, okay. No, I agree with you. No, yeah. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about down the road. Oh, no. Yeah. He's going to. Oh, yeah. He's all Mr. Big Shot. And then when his holy master goes, but drops. <laughs> okay. No, this time, in fact, I was streaming this morning. I, I, in fact, I was explaining that. I was saying to, 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 the, to, the, to the crew that I could not tell if it's this time he's going to jail or down the road. But I was more sure of down the road because... I was looking for the judge. You know when the judges, well, I can only yeah. speak 
from TV, from, because I, but I don't want to be, ever appear in front of a judge. When they, when they say something and they bang the hammer, I did not see the hammer. So I'm like, okay, chances are he may get off this time. Yeah. You know, so I, I think... I feel like uh, she'll... I think sanctions are going to be more like he can't talk, period. But I almost feel like he'll blow it again because he's got such a big mouth. Not only big, big, you know what? The other thing, it's a psychological thing with him and Trump. They have been getting away with so much stuff. They don't know when to stop, nor where the boundaries are. That's what's going to get him into trouble. Right, right. He's going to, he's going to make a mistake somewhere along the line, and then they're going to... She, she doesn't play from what I heard. I heard that in the news. When was that? Yesterday? Yeah. Judge, that judge? Oh, my God, Linda. I heard she, she, <laughs> she, is, uh, she doesn't take any... Uh, if, if somebody crosses the line, she sets you straight. I mean, I hope she throws him in jail today or Thursday. Me too. That's what I wish. But I, don't but think I threw the cards and I didn't see him going to jail. But it could be my cards are wrong. I'm going to throw one more time. Please. But I think Roger I'm going to... Stone go to jail Thursday. He feels like he thinks he's going to jail. Okay. He feels like he really blew it. He's paranoid. It's paranoia that's sticking over him. <laughs> but then I heard he posted somebody that said that he had the right to post that, that picture. Yes. And but, what is an idiot? You see what I'm saying? He can't stop it. Oh, well, you're exactly right. Uh, you are correct. They can't, they can't help themselves. Him and Trump. Well, she's mad because he, what he's doing is making her uh, somebody that outsiders can look at. Yeah, but like no, her no. life could be in danger. Exactly. It's a threat. You know? And we have so many crazy people out there. Yeah, they're not showing jail. They're giving him a chance. Oh, yeah? And then the gavel comes down on him. Oh, the gavel. That's what I was, yeah. I was calling the hammer. <laughs> okay. I'm not seeing it right now. Okay. So I think... I, I so next it. week, a report's coming out. Shall okay. we take a look? Why don't you look first, and I'll look second. For the report next week? Ask what is in that report. Okay. Well... Uh, I am not getting Trump being indicted, if you're talking about the one from uh, Mueller. But everything, we, okay, they're going to detail or at least give an outline of Trump's crimes. You know what I mean? Uh, that's one, meaning the financial Dealing that he had with Russia? Yeah. The cooperation? Mueller, Mueller can't indict him, right? He's just giving them the information. Yeah. Right. That's where I feel Pelosi comes in and says, by God, we need to do something here. Exactly. If they start impeachment, they won't finish it because I see so much that Trump says, F you guys, I'm out of here. Or he makes a deal to leave if they leave him alone. But you know, the other thing is, Linda, the, what I feel is going to really devastate the situation, the, what's going to be devastating for Trump is the cooperation they're going to spell out. They're not going to tell every little detail. And you know why? Why? Because they don't want the Russian Russians to figure out how they got the information. Yeah, because they would hurt them. Yeah. Yes. But those two things stand out to me. The money and how Trump cooperated, not only with Putin, and the link between Putin and... Please tell me what... It, Wikileak. Yeah. The, the link between Wikileak, uh, the Russian intelligence, and Trump. And, you know, I, what I feel in that report, the way Mueller is going to present it, Trump is not going to be able to wiggle out of it. Yeah, and, and I see this bar guy talking to a group of people. Could oh, be FBI agents. Okay. And it's almost shock and awe. Like, dear God, what are we going to do? 
And I see them even talking. Now, McConnell feels like he'll still try to hold on to him. There's still a few in there, yeah. But I feel... I just didn't think about that. But that, you know what? You're probably right. Yeah, I just saw Pelosi just saying, enough, we're done with this. They're also going to uh, out Pence and yes. family members. They're going to out them. Mm -hmm. yep. No, I feel you're right. But I didn't think about... You know, I didn't look for McConnell. You know why? Why? Because I have been feeling this, because the, the overwhelming feeling I have been getting when they released that report, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, meaning that the information that is going to be in there, even if they don't give us the details on how they gathered the report, okay, this thing is going to be so damning. I, I want to ask you something else. Yeah, but don't forget what you're going to say about McConnell. Okay. I did not think, thank you for reminding me, because I keep seeing a whole bunch of stuff flashing yeah. in front of me. I'm yeah. sorry. I did not think after this overwhelming evidence, McConnell was still going to stand with him. But you know why I think you're right? His wife. I didn't think about that. Yeah, McConnell. yeah, yeah. They're going to try to hold on to him a little bit. There's some resistance there. Yes, and I don't know how you feel about his wife, but I feel she's playing games. Yeah, she's a big wig in China too. Yes, oh yeah, her father is very wealthy. He owns some kind of sea transportation company or something like that. Ah. Like transportation or something. Yeah. Something she like that. Power. That's why she married O'Connell. Not that she does right. right. No, you're right, but. Uh, I was going to say something. I lost my train of thought because I, I got over. You asked me. You said, Linda, I have to ask you something. Yeah, but but when you mentioned O'Connor, I didn't think about that, and I'm like, oh my god, I think you're right. They and think, when you I, were talking, yes, I was seeing this report, and I'm seeing other people in the middle of this that are like in Congress or the. I see other people that are going to start drowning because of this. Yes. Okay, you know, I, I, that too, I mean, not exactly the way you put it. Some months ago, I put a video out, and I'm glad you mentioned that. The people, I mean, there are going to be so many people that are going to get caught in this whole Trumpism stuff, you know, protecting Trump. You know what? Nunes. Yeah. Nunes is going to get caught big time. Oh, yeah. They have information. In fact, that report that's coming out will yes. mention Nunes. I saw that as clear as day. <laughs> They're going to talk about him. Okay. Yes. A lot of people are going to sink with Trump. Well, he's going to cause a lot of people to lose their life. Well, you know what? They deserve it because they should have been protecting the country as opposed to. And you know who I see turning against Trump? No. Senator Grassley. Oh, yeah. You know, we know, although he's old and grumpy, I'm sorry I'm putting it that way because that's the way he came across to me. But if he has evidence of something uh, someone does to the country, he will turn on you on a dime. And, and that's the way he behaves. So I feel you're correct. I didn't think about him. See, Barr is coming in here, and he is, I'd love to know, was he actually set up by the Bushes? I see Trump going against Barr. I see Trump trying to bring up that Barr's no good. Absolutely. I will say yes to what you said. You know why? And because you answered your own question. Remember before you said he's going to go by the book? Yes, by the book. That's what's going to cause Trump to turn against him. Because yeah. he's not going to do whatever Trump asked him to do, just like uh, Whitaker. Right. And uh, according to the news, and I feel that's correct, Trump turned against them because there is no way Whitaker was going to do what Trump asked him to do because Whitaker knows he can go to jail and he's a young guy. Yes, yes. He's, oh, what? he's already in big trouble. Oh, well, yes. It, but he could have been in worse trouble if he listened to Trump. Because he said he had to land on the grenade for Trump. Right. Yes, that's the other thing. I forgot about that one. Exactly. 
Well, that's why Trump put him there, so that he would take the first blow. You know? So, uh, but he's smart, though, in a way. Yeah. He did not. Uh, the guy from SDNY. Yeah. The, the chief prosecutor. He was supposed to try to get this guy to be in charge of the investigation. I mean, he didn't listen to Trump. If I'm not looking straight at the camera, I'm sorry, I'm looking because that's the way I read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, because he was too afraid to try to jump in and do anything to the investigation because he knew if he did anything, he, there was a very good chance he was going to go to jail for it, or the situation would be worse for him. Right. He wanted this, but you know what? He's very embarrassed, though. Interesting. You know why? Because so many things came out about him. I don't think he intended for that to happen. Okay. You know? And do you remember, please tell me if you feel the same way, when he was testifying in, in front of Congress, when he was trying to humor the Congress people who were questioning him, I think he was trying to cover his own insecurities. Am I right? Or what, I, what, what do you feel? I'm so, is that right? I think you're right. I think you're dead on right. It feels like to me that's what he was trying to cover, you know? And he knew that, you know what, Linda? I feel the people in Congress have a lot more information on him than is already out there. Yeah. Meaning, I mean, I mean, uh, Whitaker. Okay. Yeah, Whitaker's going down. I, I don't care yeah. what. Yeah, he's going down. You did mention that, but yes, but I feel there is more that we are more things that we are not aware. Actually, of. I'm going to tell you what they just said to me. Yes. They said he's going to squeal. Okay. <laughs> He said he's going to squeal because he's trying to save his own life yes. while the ship goes down. Okay. Can I tell you something I said this morning in my, in my stream? I said, Whitaker is going to write a book and make a lot of money because he's getting the information right from the mouth of the car. <laughs> I see him just laying it out there. Exactly. Okay. So, he, yes. And you know what? He's going to make pretty good money from that, too. Yeah, so did McCabe. Look at he's making good money. He's, oh, yes. McCabe is, you know, Linda, I have been in, in situations. You know what angers me? What? The way Trump treated Comey. I did not like what Comey no. did. He's not a Comey fan. Okay. No, me neither, but he, yeah. I don't feel, you know, someone, you are president of the United States. You do not do the things the way that. For example, after he fired Comey, he did not want Comey to take a ride back in the military jet that had to come back anyway. Yeah. And you know, the second thing that bothers me about this, what? the way he badmouthed McCabe's wife. I know. But listen, yes. he badmouthed the FBI. Oh, what? Yeah. And so he, he he's messed with the wrong people. You know what? They what? don't come in crashing. They'll oh. slowly destroy him. Well, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, right. they're, they're, they're collect that Mueller was the best thing that ever happened to them. Best. Yes. Exactly. What is the name of the Attorney General? Lieutenant uh, Attorney General Rubenstein, right? What is his name? Uh, Deputy Rubenstein? Attorney General is De Rosenstein. Yeah. Rosenstein. Thank yeah. you. He made the choice, according to, if I remember correctly, McCabe said it last night, okay, that was an amazing choice because, you know, of the way he conducts, he conducted himself, Mueller that is, if Mueller engaged Trump in all his craziness, oh, yes. he would not be as effective when the report no able to muddy the water a lot more. Yeah. The way Mueller went about doing his job and he never paid attention, no reply to whatever Trump says, it frustrated me at times, okay? 
But now looking at the way Trump is behaving, and I don't know why, I'm just waking up now about this, but I think that was the right way to handle it because yeah. he would have given Trump uh, a way to make, to muddy the waters even worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the other thing is, um, Mueller came back. There was some information. It wasn't Mueller. It was his associate. Okay. There was some information out there, and they corrected it. Do you remember that? They yes. Said, no, that's not the case. Oh, my God, Donald Trump was all, oh, yes, well, thank you to uh, the special oh. investigation because that actually made him feel like, he, oh, yeah, well, they're working for They're going to be good to me. Yeah. He, right. He's still sitting on the edge. They haven't told him the truth. They never, never gave Whittier the, the truth. They never did. No, they, you know, because you're right, and I feel it is because he goes up to the man. And, that, and you know, you're right, because yesterday that was in the news. They were talking, he was questioning whether people around him were telling him the truth. Are things worse because, is it because they don't want him to go off his rockers? <laughs> right. Well, even Mueller sent something to some judge stating yes. that they were very worried about Whittier being the the DOJ who wasn't taken in by Congress, was not, he's just the personal patsy for Trump. Absolutely. So they, they never really gave that guy any information. I think Trump bugged the shit out of him. I think you're right. You know, there is something else I am getting while you said that. What? You know, Linda, why do I feel they don't tell Trump, I mean, as far as intelligence is concerned, they don't tell him everything. Well, I mean, they go, but thank God he's not interested anyway. He doesn't want to read nor hear anything that's contrary to his belief. But yeah. I feel even when they, when he goes and let them make their uh, intelligence presentation to him, mm -hmm. they don't tell him the truth. Am I right? Yeah. They can't. Because yeah. they are afraid that because he's... He, he, remember when he fired Comey and allowed those Russians? with no American reporter or anything. Exactly. And said, oh, I'm so glad I got rid of him. He was a thorn in my back or something. Yes. And then proceeded to give them intel. Europe was so mad about that. Yes. So they can't trust him. They can't trust him. Okay, because I feel there is a line of defense around him. They don't let him in into everything. You know what I mean? He told him, don't worry, you're not under investigation. Right, right. Rosenstein will lie to him. Because <laughs> to keep the ship. It's worth the lies because he's trying to keep the ship going for Mueller. I think he's waiting on Mueller and he knows the shit is good. Exactly. And the intel people that I know or people that are related to the intel, they right, have right. told me that the, the top brass knows they got some good stuff on Trump. Yeah, yeah. I, I think right. right. But you know something? I, I, I think... Rosenstein is going to make a lot of money, too. Yeah. He's going to write a book. <laughs> yeah. So who's going to play, who's going to play Mueller? Brad Pitt? <laughs> I'll be first in line. Wait a minute. Was it Brad Pitt? Oh, you know, he has the, sh the face. Right. I think that's a good uh, selection. I never thought about that. You yeah. know who I would think was going to would play Mueller? Who? He is married to a black woman. He's a very oh, the one from Saturday Night Live. He did Saturday Night Live. At, yeah, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. He yes. did a great Mueller. Remember yes. you? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. I'll let you go. Thank you for. Uh, let's, let's do this again. Let's see how big this turns out. Let's see. If <laughs> and uh, absolutely, we should do this again because it was fun. This was a lot of fun. This was fun. Okay, Linda. Thanks. All right, honey. You take care. With me, it's okay. been, oh my god, unbelievable. And thank you for uh, validating some stuff that I, that I was not, I was seeing. Okay, thank you. Sometimes, if I was crazy. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Have a good day. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs>